Now let's quickly look at the properties panel. Where is it available? Any activity that you pick from the activities panel. Suppose if I just drag Excel application scope into the workspace, it will contain few properties right here. Okay, when you just click on this, it will appear over here. Okay, so every activity that we use in this workplace will contain few properties like C, display name. Whatever we have right over here will appear in the display name. If I am just changing, right now we have the display name as Excel application scope. But if I just remove this and put it as Excel, we can see it's Excel right now. And the file. Under file, we have six properties. The path of the Excel, the password if any, if there is any edit password, we can provide those details over here. So all these are the inputs and any output if we expect. There are some options whether we want it to auto save. Whether if there is no file of uh, with such that name, we can create it. We want it to be read only. We want it to be visible. We can take up that particular workbook object out and perform any required operations for the further use. So that was about the Excel application scope properties. Similarly, if I just drag read range here, so it expects to pass the sheet name, the range from where to where we want to read the particular range. Suppose if I want to read from A1 to B4, I can pass the range like this and I can add the options. See if I just, if you are not uh, sure about the activities, properties, you can directly click on them. Just try to hover your mouse on that and you will find the description about it. If you want to find filters, you can do that. If you want to get the headers out of that particular sheet, you can check this, else you can leave it. And in the outputs, you can get that particular data table. About the data table and all, we will discuss soon. So that is the importance of properties. It actually allows us to modify the inputs and outputs of the activities.